HipFig Travel Channel offers DIY travel video guides for more than 25 cities in Asia, US, and Canada. If you like this video, then subscribe, give us a thumbs up, or a comment. Welcome to HipFig's Beautiful America Travel Guide Series. This HipFig Travel Guide Series is for people interested in national parks and the famous natural wonders in North America. This episode features Grand Canyon National Park, one of the seven natural wonders of the world. It's a mile deep, 277 river miles along the Colorado River and 18 miles wide. In this Grand Canyon National Park Travel Guide, we'll share our experiences visiting the popular South Rim area of the Grand Canyon and travel tips for first time visitors to this magnificent example of nature's creation. Did you know that the hike across the Grand Canyon from the South Rim to the North Rim is 21 miles or 34 kilometers. However, by car, the distance from the South Rim to the North Rim is 220 miles and will take five or six hours. Grand Canyon National Park is located in Northern Arizona in the United States. It has two main entrances, the North and South Rim. The North Rim is usually closed to cars between December 1st and May 15th. The most popular entrance is the South Rim since it's open all year round and more accessible by car from cities with commercial airports like Flagstaff, Arizona, Las Vegas, Nevada, and Phoenix, Arizona. The Grand Canyon National Park South Rim entrance is located 75 miles north of the town of Flagstaff, Arizona, 275 miles from Las Vegas, Nevada, and 225 miles from Phoenix, Arizona. By car, it'll take about an hour and a half from Flagstaff, four hours from Las Vegas, and three and a half hours from Phoenix. If you're driving, please use your GPS for the best routes for your location. If you don't have a car, there are many tour companies which run tours to the South Rim from cities like Flagstaff, Las Vegas, Phoenix, and other surrounding cities. These guided tours are convenient, easy, and provide a carefree transportation to the Grand Canyon South Rim. If you would like to go on your own from Flagstaff, you can take Arizona Shuttle or Grand Canyon Shuttle service between Flagstaff and the Grand Canyon Village. Grand Canyon Railway also offers train service from Williams, Arizona to the Grand Canyon. Contact these companies directly or go to their website for prices and schedules. We had a rental car and drove from Phoenix, which takes about three and a half hours if you drive directly. We decided to stop in Flagstaff, Arizona as we wanted to visit the observatory. After a nice overnight stay in Flagstaff, we drove to the Grand Canyon around 7 a.m. in the morning. We took the historic Route 66 west to the U.S. Highway 180 going west. From U.S. 180, we merged onto Arizona 64 going north. We follow the signs to the Grand Canyon South Rim entrance. We arrived at the Grand Canyon South Rim entrance around 8.30 a.m. and the lines to get into the park were already long as it was in the summer, which is peak season to visit the Grand Canyon National Park. Peak season is usually from May to September. There is a national park fee of $35 per car, up to four adult passengers, or $20 per person 16 or older walking in entering on a shuttle or with a tour group. Money saving tip, if you have four people 16 or older in your group, it may be worth it for you to buy the $70 annual pass for the Grand Canyon or the $80 America Beautiful Pass, which is good for a year for all national parks and monuments in the United States. Once we got to the entrance gate, we had a America Beautiful annual pass to enter the park, which we showed to the park ranger. The ranger will usually give you a newsletter and a map of the park. Make sure to pick up a map if you don't plan to stop at the visitor center. If you're planning to drive into the Grand Canyon National Park, especially during the peak season of May to August, try to arrive no later than 9 a.m. If you come later than this, you'll have a hard time finding a parking spot by the visitor center. If you plan to arrive later, a good option is to take the free Grand Canyon National Park shuttle bus from Tusayan, which is the small town outside the South Rim entrance. Take the free to Sion route shuttle bus from the park and ride, which has free parking. This 20 minute shuttle to the visitor center runs every 20 minutes between 8 a.m. and 9.30 p.m. 
You'll have to pay the Grand Canyon National fee of $20 per person before getting onto the shuttle or show your annual pass. You can pay for your entrance fee at one of the following locations in Tucson, the National Geographic Visitor Center, the Grand Canyon South Rim Chamber of Commerce, RP Stage Stop, Red Feather Lodge, or the Canyon Plaza Resort. If you're driving into Grand Canyon National Park, make sure your gas tank is full. If not, Tucson is a good place to fill up your gas tank. From the National Park entrance, we follow the signs for the Grand Canyon South Rim Visitor Center, which we highly recommend. We arrived around 9.30ish and the parking lots were full, but we got lucky. There are four parking areas near the Visitor Center. If the lots by the Visitor Center are full, there are more parking lots at lots A through D in Market Plaza and the Village Historic District. The Grand Canyon South Rim Visitor Center is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily. At the Visitor Center, you can find rangers inside the air-conditioned Visitor Center, but the lines to talk to them can be sometimes very long. What we found most helpful were the written recommendations that the Park Service had prepared for visitors based on the amount of time in the Grand Canyon. For example, there are itineraries for one to two hours and half day. There is also information on where to go for the best sunsets and sunrises and information on the free Grand Canyon shuttle service. At the Visitor Center, you can find information at the outside posters, which provide information about park activities and attractions, hiking, the free shuttle bus system, and the park ranger programs. While we were in the Visitor Center, we watched the 20-minute movie called The Grand Canyon, A Journey of Wonder. The movie starts every 30 minutes. We also explored the exhibits. Make sure to check out the large video-enabled relief map. For your information, you can also rent a bike or take a guided bicycle tour from the Visitor Center, and there's a food truck to buy food and drinks, as well as restrooms and water fountain. Save the environment, gas, and frustration to find parking. Catch the free Grand Canyon shuttles to points of interest in the Grand Canyon National Park. There are five Grand Canyon shuttle routes in the South Rim. The Village Route, the Kaibab Rim Route, Hermit Road Route, to Cyan Park and Ride, and the Hiker Express Shuttle. The shuttle buses usually run half hour before sunrise to a half hour after sunset. The most popular routes for visitors are the Kaibab and Hermit Road routes, which have stops along the way to Canyon Overlook points. See the maps at the Visitor Center for exact stops. You can catch these shuttles by the Visitor Center to points of interest like Mather Point, Yavapai Geology Museum, South Kaibab Trailhead, Yaki Point, Pipe Creek Vista, and many more. The Rim Trail is 13 miles or 21 kilometers and from the Visitor Center you can walk on the Rim Trail east all the way to South Kaibab Trailhead or west to Hermit's Rest. The Rim Trail is mostly paved, flat, and accessible. The Rim Trail can be accessed from many of the shuttle bus stops. The views are spectacular and you can get very close to the edge at some points, so be very careful. Here's a tip. If you would like a less crowded area to view sunset, take the Hermit's Rest Shuttle route to Mojave or Pima Points, or drive to Desert View Drive. If you would like to hike down to the Grand Canyon, take the Bright Angel Trail from Kolb Studio. There's so much to do at the Grand Canyon National Park besides hiking. You can take guided tours by bus, car, helicopter, mules, horses, wagons, or rafts for an extra fee. You can also take the Trans Canyon Shuttle, which runs a service between the north and south rims of the Grand Canyon National Park. After our visit to the Visitor Center, we walked the Rim Trail to nearby Mather Point and then to Yavapai Geology Museum and took the shuttle back to the Visitor Center. We wanted to visit the Desert View Watchtower and surrounding areas, so we took our car. We recommend at least one full day and more to see the natural wonders of the Grand Canyon. If you have time, visit the Watchtower at Desert View. You'll climb 85 steps for a 360 degree view from this 70 foot tower. From here you can see the Colorado River turning north and the Painted Desert extending towards the Navajo and Hopi Indian lands. If you would like lodging inside the park, then you need to book well in advance, especially during the summer months. 
be sure to make reservations as far ahead as possible. Reservations are made through Delaware North and Zantara Parks and Resorts. For more information or to make a reservation, go to Zantara Parks and Resorts website or the Delaware North Company's Parks and Resorts website. Please make sure to bring plenty of water and food, wear good walking and hiking shoes and sunscreen or a hat, and stay on the trails for a grand time at the Grand Canyon National Park. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.